Hey, good looking. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me. Today is a wonderful collaboration with my good friends here on YouTube. Kara from Beauty in the Frizz and Kelly Rettenberger from Keep Beauty Real. So we have, well, they started this really awesome build your own palettes, make good use of the single eyeshadows that you own and put together themed palettes. So today's themed palettes are a good transition build your own palette from summer to fall. And they asked me to put together 10 shades that represent a good transition from summer to fall. And I have to say, I kind of don't listen to the rules. So I put together a nine pan of shadows that I think really help me to transition from the summer to the fall. And I'll go into each shadow and what it truly means to me. But I also did add in a big shadow that makes it the 10th shade. So a nine pan plus you get like this, um, I don't know, it's got, it's like a big enough to be a highlighter, but it is, spoiler alert, Electric Unicorn from Give Me Glow. So if you are interested in a swatch party or maybe you'd like to see how I got this to tour, or, or maybe you'd like to see how I got this eyeshadow look, then just stay tuned and let's get started. For my Build Your Own palette, I chose nine star of the show shades, and then this one is just truly unique, one of a kind, just like it said, unicorn. This is Electric Unicorn by Give Me Glow. It doesn't fit in my palette, and I kind of don't want it to. It's, um, it's its own entity, really, at this point, so we are definitely going to give you guys a nice, beautiful swatch at the end of my eyeshadow swatch party for you so let's go ahead and let's jump into the shadows that i picked out for you guys for this build your own palette um, transitional palette if you will starting off with the palette here you can see that i've got electric unicorn on the bottom and then i've got my nine pan up at the top skyla's the first shade to me this is representative of the days getting shorter and at the end of the day seeing that beautiful pink red sunset transitioning into the blue i felt it represented the colors that you see in the sky on a sunset on a transitional like maybe late august early september right before fall starts this is a duochrome it's a purple base with a blue shift over the top and it is so exquisite i absolutely adore this shadow i use its sister shadow missier from divina cosmetics on summer looks i don't think that this is any coincidence that peach crush from sydney grace appears in my transitional palette peach crush is that peachy golden shade that reminds me of the colorado peaches that come into the midwest um, during the late august season and they're just so yummy and warm and sweet and juicy and that's what that shade is i use makeup geeks magic act as a beautiful warm golden shimmery just really reliable shadow i feel like this transitions from summer to fall beautifully you can use it as inner corner shimmer you could use it as brow bone highlights even if you're a darker skin tone then flamethrower is just really representative of like the mums that you see for sale that kind of have that rich golden dark orange shadow to them or excuse me shade to them and this is just really representative of that this is that time of year that we're we're building up illuminati by makeup geek is a wonderful green shadow that is shimmery and it's a foiled shadow it's one of their foiled shadows i felt it really was representative of the grass starting to die off and give us this fall cool um football nights stadium lights kind of atmosphere then sydney grace's harvest is the next shade it's a matte orange 
trending towards terracotta shade. I thought this is not coincidental either that this is the time of year that we're trending towards jumping into harvesting. Um, I live here in the Midwest and we are the wheat state. So this is really just representative of what's going on right now in the Midwest. And it's just a beautiful burnt orange matte shade. I slipped in magic act or excuse me medieval because I thought this was just so beautiful it just is the last little bit of summer that last time that you go swimming it reminds you of that swimming pool and seeing the bottom of it and it's starting to get darker because the water is cooler that's what that's reminding me of this shadow right here is also featured in Mel Thompson's palette tiny marvels and it is called red chameleon it's the single shadow form but in mel thompson's palette it is scarab and i really wanted to put this in there in memory of her i thought it was really fitting it's just a really beautiful red base dual chrome with a green shift over the top Lastly, I put in Fortune Teller. This is really indicative of the wheat fields that you see that are ready to harvest here in the Midwest. And it's just that golden yellow shade that is so dependable, so shiny and shimmery and very, very opaque. I'm gonna save the last, but definitely not least, Gimme Glow's Electric Unicorn. It's kind of my Oh, uh, you know, extra shade. <laughs> it is a iridescent multi-chrome. It shifts from shades of anywhere from pink, lavender, green to yellow. You can see somewhat. I do turn down the lights and dim them for you. And as I smear this all over me, you're really seeing the yellow to green shift very predominantly. It does have a purple to blue shift, so if you stuck it over um, medieval, you would probably see more of that shade come through. Super buttery. It is iridescent, so you can kind of see through. Flaky, textured, sparkly, shifty, shiny. Oh, now you can see the lavender and the pink shift when I pull back my wrist a little bit and just kind of put those crevices in the shadows. You can kind of see it. So there's Electric Unicorn. And those are 10 shadows that I feel are ex are just representative of hanging on to the last bit of summer and welcoming the fall season in what do you guys think of the shadows that i picked if you haven't already um found out i'm filming this the day after i've received the news of mel thompson's passing away so i just want to take a moment to just kind of be still and be silent in memory of her she was such a spectacular woman she is like the golden standard of beauty youtubers that we really truly look up to and you know idolize and with that i want to go into how i got this look right here so let's get started with that MAC 224S and Peach Crush into the crease. Great, that went on like a dream. And let's go in with the shade Harvest next. Same brush. And just deepen in that crease, but just keep it a little bit lower. And then when I have most of my product placed, 
and blend it in, I'm going to lightly go over the top. Wonderful. I cannot decide where to go from here. So you guys have already seen the look. Tell me what I used. <laughs> I think I think I want to go for golden today. So I'm going to be dipping into these shades maybe. Oh, I kind of want to use this shadow. Or maybe I want to use um, chameleon, red chameleon. Oh, you know what though? My 10th shadow is this one. And it's getting blown out by my lights, but Electric Unicorn by Give Me Glow, I think I'm gonna have to go with that. So let's keep it neutral and at the very end, we'll just hit it with some Electric Unicorn. This is just the Shikoto brush that I use to prep my lids with some MAC Painterly Paint Pot, dipping into Magic Act right here kind of patting some on my brush and then placing it all over the first inner third of my lid. Oh, did I put the right side on? I don't think I did. Yeah, there it is. Thrower. that's gonna go on the outer third outer half to third of the eyelid I'm just picking up some product here like this on my brush I'm gonna tap a little off I kind of went in heavy-handed and just placing that on right there And then taking the other side with the leftover magic act, blending that. It's just gonna be a really soft, subtle look until we get to the very end when I hit it with some electric unicorn. These shadows are so soft and so beautiful. I really chose some wonderful shades for blue eyes. I cannot, cannot argue that. Okay, and for this bottom lash line, I wanna use Flamethrower again, right here, and add that to the, bat the bottom lash line in the outer um, half. Ooh, I love a shiny under eye. Blend that into the top there. I am just going to dust away a little bit of that fallout that I got. I don't know if I want to blend this out or not. I kind of actually like it with just like a, a nice shiny shimmer. And then, ooh, I kind of want to take that gold. Um, I think it's fortune teller. Put that on the bottom corner and mix it in. So I'm starting in the first inner third kind of and then blending till the halfway point. So it almost looks like we do have magic act in there. I don't know if you can see it, but I really love that gold in there. It just kind of brightens up underneath a little bit and it gives that nice golden wheat look. Just 
until you get the right mixture. Oh, honey. Just bring it up. I feel like this is the perfect end to summer. It's like kind of like the harvest season. There's golden wheat fields getting ready to be harvested. Oh, definitely. And then we are going to go in with the star of the show. So you could stop right here and just put on your favorite pair of lashes. I'm gonna zazz things up just a little bit. We could also do it just in the inner corner. So, because I'm actually liking this soft, subtle, like more neutral look, I guess. So this is the Makeup Geek Small Crease Brush. Dip into the Electric Unicorn. Tap off the excess. It just it's pretty zazzy on its own. Yeah. If I did it all over the lid, I think it would be too much. Um, well, I guess it could be like back to the dorms. <laughs> I am bringing it in just ever so slightly on this top part of the lash line, just kind of like give it that much more dimension. I feel like that's really, really beautiful. Okay, and my favorite pair of lashes are gonna be on. I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, that's it. That's the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I put on some lashes for you. They're just soft and um, wispy. Nothing spectacular at all. I am a little bit down in spirits today after hearing of Mel Thompson's passing. I hope that you all hug your little ones a little closer and the loved ones and your family and spend some time with them let them know how much you love them because life is so incredibly short and we are here for just a moment in time thanks so much for watching guys i can't wait to see you guys in the next video